Chapter 3 An Introduction to Word 2016 Word Processor is an application software that allows the computer to type, edit and store text. With the creation of Word Processor, everything about writing became digital. Microsoft Word 2016 is one of the most popular word processor. It allows the user to type, edit and store text on the computer. Starting Microsoft Word 1. Click on Start 2. Go to Microsoft Office 2016 and click on Word 2016. 3. Select blank document on the welcome screen. 4. The Word 2016 window opens. 4. Search for Word 2016 in the search box using Cortana. Word 2016 window. The Word 2016 window consists of the following elements. Title bar the document name followed by the application software name is displayed here. By default, document word is displayed. Control buttons the control buttons on the top right corner of the title bar helps to minimize, maximize, restore and close the window. Ruler ruler is a scale and is situated on the left and top of the working area. Working area the white area in the center of the word document is the working area. It is the typing area in Word. Cursor a blinking line to show the current position to input text in the working area. Status bar The status bar is located at the bottom left corner of the working area. It shows the current page, total number of words, etc. View buttons They are situated at the bottom right corner. These buttons provide different work view area to the user like print layout, read mode, and web layout. Zoom the zoom slider helps us to increase the size and view the working document. Quick access toolbar. The quick access toolbar is located on the title bar. It provides a one-click shortcut to common functions such as save, redo, undo, etc. Add slash remove tools on quick access toolbar. 1. Click on the drop-down arrow on the right side of the quick access toolbar. 2. Click on the tools you wish to add on the toolbar. The tick mark beside the tool means that the tool is already added. 3. Similarly, click on the tool to remove it. The tick mark would disappear. Ribbon. The ribbon is a user interface which consists of a set of task tabs like Home, Insert, Design, Layout, References, Slideshow, Mailings, Review and Tell Me. When we click on a particular tab, Related tasks appear on the ribbon which are divided into groups. Each of these groups carries word commands to perform specific tasks. Minimizing the ribbon. 1. Right click on the blank area of any group on the ribbon. 2. Click on collapse the ribbon option to view or hide the ribbon. Important tabs on the ribbon. File. It is the most important tab. When you click on the file tab, it opens a window containing options like creating a new document, open a new file, save a file, print a file etc. Home. Home tab contains five group that is, clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, and editing. The group contains options that help to format the text in a desired way. Insert. Insert tab consists of ten groups. The groups are pages, tables, illustrations, add-ins, media, links, comments, header, and footer, text and symbols. Design. Design tab consists of document formatting and page background groups to help the user to beautify the document. Layout. Layout tab consists of three groups. The groups are page setup, paragraph, and arrange. Mailings. Mailings tab contains create, start mail merge, write, and insert fields, preview results and finish groups. Review. Review tab contains the proofing group. It contains spelling and grammar and thesaurus. View. View tab contains different views like read mode, print layout, and web layout. Tell me. Tell me is a new feature in Word 2016. It is a search box on the ribbon. It acts as a shortcut to actions in Word by directly typing words or phrases. Sign in and share. 
Word 2016 lets you sign into Office Cloud where you can create, edit, and share your presentations with others. Typing a text. To type a text, such as, Dear Sir click on the working area and start typing. The text will be displayed on the screen. Press the space bar after typing Dear to add a space between the two words and then type Sir. Press the Enter key to move the cursor to the next line. Creating a new document. A file created in Word is called a document. It consists of the information that we have typed. 1. Click on File click on New. 2. Click on Blank Document. Or click on the drop-down arrow Quick Access Toolbar and select New from the list. 3. The Word 2016 window opens. Saving a document. After you have completed typing, save the document on the computer. When a document is saved, it can be opened or modified any time later. When you save the document for the first time, Word will ask for a file name. 1. Click on File Click on Save As. 2. Type a file name and click on the Save button. Or click on the Save button on the Quick Access Toolbar. The document will be saved in docx file extension. The document saved in this extension cannot open in older versions of Word. Closing a document. Once you have completed your work in Word and saved the document, you need to close Word. 1. Click on File click on Close. 3. The document will be closed. Or click on the Close button in the top right corner of the title bar.